Paris has a new and unusual garden. It can be found in the commercial Montorgueil district, and it's the work of Patrick Blanc, also known as the Green Man, with hair to match. There are hardly any green spaces in the second arrondissement, so that's why I thought this project was so interesting. I also like the fact that a private person wanted to commission a vertical garden not just for themselves, but for the general public. And the public loves this leafy oasis, so unexpected in this urban setting. It's lovely. I watched it grow. Everyone comes to take a look and photograph it. It makes me very happy. Every day I sit down here and admire it. It was quite by surprise that we turned the corner and there it was. And uh, it's amazing, just spectacular. It's a lovely sight. There should be more of them. This is what the facade used to look like. The structure of the garden was installed in February 2013 and the first greenery planted in April. Within months, the foliage began to flourish. And there were some unexpected developments. It looks like weeds are growing here. That was not supposed to happen, but it's a nice weed. Look at the blue flowers. That's part of a vertical garden, too. It's full of surprises. You never know what might happen. This is where Patrick Blanc gets most of his ideas. His own private jungle outside Paris, bursting with exotic birds, fish and all sorts of plants. Blanc was only 12 when he had his first idea for a vertical garden. It's a pretty complex design. A fiber layer works like a kind of wet cliff. It's only three millimeters thick and it's kept damp through perforated pipes. The plant roots develop in this polymide layer and then a natural plant landscape emerges in the artificial substance. And because it's plastic, it doesn't degrade. Blanc's first major public project involved creating a vertical garden in 2006 for the Paris Museum Musée du Quai Branly, next to the Eiffel Tower. It was quite a challenge. This facade of the museum is exposed to the north and is opposite the Seine River. That means there's a lot of wind, and it wasn't easy to find plants that suit those conditions. The Frenchman's green walls are now in demand all over the world. Blanc is currently working with renowned architects Herzog and Muron on an installation for a new art museum in Miami. I'm planting 70 columns there that surround the museum and are each 10 to 20 meters high. The museum is located right on the ocean, so I need to find plants that can survive hurricanes and salt water. He's also collaborating with architect Jean Nouvel to build a 200-meter high vertical garden in Kuala Lumpur. These famous architects come to me with daring projects, and then we need to discuss things, because I know what the plants need. The architects, however, don't necessarily know that. But even Patrick Blanc can't say for sure how long his designs will last. His own, however, has been around for 32 years.